glory 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 to god in the highest glory to the lord on the throne the lord reigns hallelujah i want to share on uh, ways we can praise the lord different ways we can praise the lord and i want to begin with a quote by ruth heflin who wrote a book called glory experiencing the atmosphere of heaven it says we praise until the spirit of worship comes we worship until the glory comes and then we stand in glory psalms 150 verse 6 says let everything that has breath praise the lord the only qualification to praising god is the breath in you you being alive qualifies you qualifies me to praise the living god if you know who god is and how great a king and savior he is you will praise him great is our god and greatly to be praised we are nothing but he is everything with or without material resources i shepherd perry will praise god almighty praise brings god down god is the object of our praise we sing and make melody to the lord with our heart it is to him and him alone and about him that we sing hard as it may be to imagine we are to play or sing for the glory of god not to the pleasures or to the pleasure of men praise is a way into god's presence psalm 100 verse 4 to 5 and psalm 95 tells us that praise is the way into the courts of god let us come into his presence with thanksgiving let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise god our maker inhabits our praises according to psalm 22 verse 3 he lives in praise derek prince said praise is god's address the question is when should we praise god praise should be done every day psalm 145 verse 2 says every day i'll bless you and i'll praise you psalm 145 verse 2 every day i'll bless you and i will praise your name forever and ever let his praises be continually in your mouth bless the lord at all times hallelujah the sec the second question is who should praise god every living creature every living thing should praise the lord psalm 150 verse 6 says let everything that has breath praise god god gave us breath so that we should praise him praise the lord when we read uh, psalm 148 verse 2 to 14 it lists the creatures that should praise god it begins with angels talks about sun the sun the moon the stars the heavens waters sea creatures the depth fire hell snow mist storm wind mountains hills trees beasts all living stock creeping things flying birds kings of the earth all people princes the rulers of the earth young men maidens old men and children so you can see we all fall into that class we should praise god 
when we read psalm 115 verse 17 it says the dead do not praise god so if you are not praising god it means you are dead but if you are alive you are commanded to praise god praise is a beautiful garment of our spirit praise is a beautiful garment of our spirit according to isaiah chapter 61 verse 3. now let us talk about different ways we can praise god number one we can praise god by lifting up of hands one way we can praise god is lifting up of hands to him you may not feel like raising up your hands but do it for the sake of the lord you will feel connected to the lord jesus when you lift up your hands as a way of praising him you may not be a hand raiser but please do it lifting up of hands signifies that we are reaching towards him and we are lifting our spirits towards him when we read psalm 134 verse 1 to 2 it says praise the lord O you servants of the lord lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the lord first timothy chapter 2 verse 8 says i desire that in every place men should pray lifting holy hands without anger or quarreling we are to lift hands to god in heaven when we lift up hands power comes through our hands it enters us it enters us through the fingers hands and arms therefore lifting up of hands is part of worship psalm 134 verse 2 says lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the lord psalm 141 verse 1 to 2 oh lord i call upon you hasten to me give ear to my voice when i call to you let my prayer be counted as incense before you and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice the lifting up of hands in psalms uh, in psalm 141 verse 1 to 2 is equated to evening sacrifice so next time when you bend your knees stretch up your hands toward the heaven as a way of praising god spread your hands to the lord our god apart from lifting up of hands to god in heaven you can also lift up your heart do not just lift up your hands but always remember when you lift up your hands lift up your heart lift up your soul to god the other way we can uh, praise god is through singing god loves music god loves music we too must love music and sing praise to him through music in second samuel chapter 6 verse 21 david said i will play music before the lord we praise god through songs when we sing songs that honor him throughout scriptures we are commanded to sing praise to god singing to god is not a suggestion but a command the question is why is music important in praising god music as a way of piercing into the depth or the deep parts of our soul that assists in, exp in our expression and response to god it is to him and about him that we sing when you are singing don't sing to the pleasure of men sing for the glory of god alone the scripture men uh, mentions uh, the scriptures mention many uses of music including songs of praise songs of victory songs of mourning and above all the psalms the first singer 
in the Bible is Jubo, do you know if you've heard of Jubo, the son of Lamech? We find um, Jubo in uh, Genesis chapter 4, verse 21. He is described as the father of all who play stringed instruments. When we read Psalm 96, verse 1 to 2, it says, Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. So we are encouraged to sing to the Lord, but we are also encouraged to sing a new song, meaning we should not just be singing old songs every time, but we should be upgrading, singing new song to the Lord. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 19 says, Singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart. Singing as a way of bringing the heart, soul, mind, and strength to focus entirely and completely on God. When we read Colossians chapter 3 verse 16, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Singing psalms and hymns and spiritual song. Sing for joy to the Lord. Sing praises to the Lord. Sing praises to the Lord and give him thanks always. So when we are singing, we are not just singing, we are not just singing to men or to please men. When we are singing, we are singing to praise the Lord. We are talking about the greatness of God. We are talking about what God has done for us in our lives, what God is going to do for us. We are magnifying the Lord God in our hearts, in our spirit, to the glory of his name. The other way we can uh, praise God is through dancing. Though dancing is usually thought of as a secular activity, but the scripture tells us that we can praise God through dancing. Psalm 149 verse 3 says, David praised the Lord through dancing. The scriptures command, let them praise his name in the dance. Dance is a form of joyous celebration of reverent worship. The Lord takes pleasure in his people. Praise the Lord. Dancing for the Lord, for the Lord is not entertainment. Spiritual dancing saves a purpose, and the purpose is to praise God. When we read Exodus chapter 15 verse 20, we are told that Miriam the prophetess, Aaron's sister, took the timbrel in her hand and all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dancing. They danced before the Lord. They sang before the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing to the Lord in the highest for he is highly exalted. Second Samuel chapter 6 verse 14 to 22 tells us of a story of David that David danced before the Lord with all his might. Dancing is a form of praise. Dancing has been stigmatized in churches as something that is worldly and carnal. I believe in praise dance before God. Dancing is how we express our bodies, what our heart feels toward the Lord. We have been liberated from the bondage of sin. We ought to dance for the glory of God. Don't worry about what people will think about you as you dance for God. You are not dancing for man. When David was asked by his wife why he danced the way he danced in the presence of uh, the, 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 the young girls, David answered Miko, his wife, this way. I dance before the Lord who chose me above your father and above all his house to appoint me as a prince over Israel, the people of God, the Lord. And I will celebrate before the Lord. I will make myself yet more contemptible than this, and I will be abased in your eyes. So, 
uh, Miko thought David was dancing to please the women, to please men. But David said, the dance that you saw, when I danced with all my strength, it was before the Lord. In fact, the way he danced, he danced to the extent that he, his clothes almost uh, uh, were almost torn apart. And that's, that, that tells us that when you are dancing before God, how, what, what is in your heart is what is important. You are not dancing for man. So the way you dance, you are dancing with respect, you are dancing with honor before the Lord. But other people, how they see it, that is not your concern. We are not here to please man. You are doing it for the Lord. I dance in my closet when I'm worshiping God, when I'm praising God. I dance even in public uh, when I'm ministering because I know that it is good to praise God through dances. God can also be praised through instruments, playing of instruments. When we read Psalm 33 verse 3, Psalm 150 verse 1 to 6, it says, Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lute and harps. Praise him with the timbrel. Praise him with the stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him with the cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. God delights in musical instruments. When you are praising God, you can use different types of instruments to praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord with lyre. Sing praises to Him with harp. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. He deserves the best we have. So we now know that the use of instrument is proper when praising God. I remember in the old days, people used to say, the reason why you are joining Pentecostals is because of music. That's what they used to think. But it was not that. Okay, so it's, it's important to praise God. You can use different instruments. In fact, the time instruments were being, uh, were being introduced in churches, people are saying, no, those are demonic, don't even use those things. But they did not know, they did not check the scriptures that instruments can be used to praise God. In the Old Testament, instruments were used in praising God. In fact, when we we read uh, Revelation chapter 5 verse 8, Revelation chapter 14 verse 2 to 3, the Bible tells that in heaven, God is praised with instrumental music. So, who are we not to use instruments when praising God? If in the book of Revelation, God in heaven is praised with instruments. They play music using instruments. Praise God with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the lute and harps. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The other way we can praise God is by clapping hands. Clapping of hands is another way of exalting God. When we read Psalms chapter 47 verse 1, it says, Clap your hands, all you people. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. Clap your hands for the Lord your God. Give a clap offering to the Most High. So we clap hand to celebrate, to rejoice before the Lord. We want to cele- celebrate our King. Okay? Hallelujah. So, Clapping of hands can be used to do that. In fact, we do that a lot in churches. We clap hands. We can also praise God through our prayer. When we are praying, we can praise God. We can praise God also through words. We are just saying, God, you are good. Your mercy endures forever. You are eternally exalted, O Lord. There is none like you. We are praising God through words. We can also praise God through uh, shouts, making noise, joyful noise, shouting to glorify his name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord reigns. The Lord is good. When they, uh, they made noise 
when they were about to enter Canaan, the walls of Jericho fell. So there are many ways we can praise God. And uh, when we are praising God, it doesn't matter what we can. We can use different uh, ways to praise God. Okay. Okay. In conclusion, we can say dance, but dance with purpose. And the purpose should be to praise God. Sing. Don't just sing. Sing with purpose. And the purpose is to praise God. Play instruments. Don't just play instruments. The purpose should be to praise God. Shout. Make a joyful noise. That noise should not just be a noise without meaning. But that noise should be to praise the Lord God who dwells in the highest. You can uh, lift up your hands, not for any other purpose, because you are a born-again believer. The reason why you are doing something, do it with a purpose. And the purpose should be to praise God. So whatever, when we are doing all those things, the people in the world may do them in a different way, but we know why we are doing those things. We are doing those things to praise the Lord. Second Chronicles chapter 5 verse 13 says, They raised their voices accompanied by trumpets, cymbals, and music instruments, musical instruments, in praise to the Lord. For he is good, his faithful love endures forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in the temple. Praise him in his might heaven. Praise him for his strength. Praise him for his greatness. Hallelujah. In Psalm 119 verse 164, we are told that David uh, praised God seven times a day. It says, seven times a day have I praised you for your righteous judgment. If David could praise God seven times every day, what about you? What about I? Learn to praise the Lord, your maker. Learn to praise the Lord God, your savior. Learn to praise God for who he is. The Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. May you be blessed by this teaching. May you practice what you have learned from this teaching. And may the good Lord richly bless you. Amen and amen.